Hi guys, welcome back to Bonsai Crazy. Today we're gonna to do a video on winter tree wash. Now, winter tree wash is a vital component to any bonsai, any bonsai enthusiast. I bought this tree at the Heathrow Bonsai Show this year. As you can see, it's in a little bit of need of TLC. And there's two glaringly obvious problems with this tree. Uh, the first is the bark. It's not been peeled back for probably a couple of years by the look of it. And it's time now to, for that to happen. Even though the whole reason I bought the tree was for the trunk and the bark, because it had an aesthetic beauty, it's really time for me to peel it back and give this tree the protection it needs over the winter. Now the second glaringly obvious problem with this tree is the moss on the lower part of the trunk. Now, having had this tree for a, about two months now, I've noticed that after watering, the trunk is staying very damp at the bottom and that's really not good for the health of the tree. So we're gonna be taking off all of this moss and all of this powdery mildew that has developed over the, over the base of the trunk. We're gonna take off all the bark. We're gonna use soap and water, diluted soap and water to get all that bottom part off. Then we're gonna dilute some winter tree wash with the recommended amount with a liter of water. Then we're gonna spray the whole tree, including the leaves. And we're gonna do that probably a couple of times throughout the winter season, just to make sure that the, the tree is protected throughout. Now, for deciduous trees, you should really wait till leaf fall and don't spray it over the leaves, just over the bark and anywhere around the Nabari. So that being said, we're gonna get on with this really quickly now for you. And I'll show you what we're gonna actually do to this tree. It's a Chinese juniper. And like I say, I bought it from the Heathrow Bonsai Show. Um, that was a fabulous day. I met Dan from DR Bonsai and Scott from Let's Do Bonsai. Absolutely fantastic day. And Steve, actually, from Steve's, Steve's Bonsai channel. Um, that was absolutely great, really great day. Absolutely loved it. And it really opened my eyes up to how bonsais can really make an impression on, on people, you know? It's a lovely, lovely, it was a great day out it was. As you can see, that's not the only tree that I'll be using winter tree wash on this year. This is the other tree that I bought from Heron's Bonsai this year. I met up with Peter Chan and that was a brilliant day and thoroughly enjoyed that as well. So let's learn how to spray this and put this solution on your tree. Like I say, first off, we're gonna peel this bark. So let's get on with this. don't have winter tree wash there is an alternative you can use and that's hydrogen peroxide now you dilute that the same way you would uh, your winter tree wash and you can actually use that in the root system as well like you would if you were doing your watering you can just put it in and use it like you would do watering spray it you can spray it also over the over the leaves and the bark bark it has very many beneficial qualities to it it gives it much need it gives your tree much need nit nitrogen throughout the winter and gives them a little boost um, so highly recommended if you don't have winter tree wash then do use hydrogen peroxide but make sure you dilute it to the recommended amounts so the reasons we use winter tree wash is 
for two reasons really protection from the frost and harsh winter weather cold breeze or cold wind frosts and snow and the second reason most important reason really is to hide to kill off any eggs or insects that may be overwintering on your tree now you don't want that to be happening over winter in the, in the springtime they'll just come alive and they'll start eating your tree and they may even kill your bonsai so it really is recommended to use winter tree wash or maybe hydrogen peroxide if you don't have winter tree wash um, it's very beneficial to your bonsai and thoroughly recommended some people use it and some people don't but if you can if you can overwinter your trees in say a garage or a shed or something like that then it's not always necessary but as i say it, it does have two beneficial reasons for using it and one is the insects and insects will get in your shed insects will get anywhere that they can really so i do and i would recommend using winter tree wash or hydrogen peroxide as a beneficial supplement or beneficial part of your bonsai f throughout the winter so there we go guys i hope you liked my informative video on how to use winter tree wash there's not much to it really just dilute the water give it a spray give it a little brush and make sure you peel off all any bark to get rid of any insects that are hiding or want to overwinter underneath the bark now this tree was long overdue for it and I hope it's going to set it up now for a good winter season and I hope it's going to survive and flourish for me the next year. Um, I have spotted some other little problems, that little bits of dieback here and there on, on, the, on the petals or the leaves. So that I'll have to keep an eye on and take a look at that next year and hopefully it will survive the winter and it'll be a fantastic looting bonsai once it's all completed. So as ever, please like and subscribe guys and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers. Ta-da.